matter whatsoever. Um, a two-year-old who walked out of her family home after bedtime was killed in a fatal accident. Y'all, this is so sad. So what actually happened was the girl got out of her parents' home once they put her to sleep and wandered into the street. Now, police in Michigan are investigating after a car hit a hit and killed a toddler who appeared to have left her home after being put to bed on September the 13th. Now, according to a statement from the Michigan State Police, a two-year-old girl got out of her bed, walked out of the house while her parents were working around the family home in Allen Township, a small community about, about an hour and a half away, an hour away southeast east of Kalamazoo, Michigan. I got family in Kalamazoo. See the Kalamazoo and the Ypsilanti. Well, anyway, police were called about 8.20 p.m. about a car versus pedestrian crash and found the young girl, the young child in the road. The child was transported to a nearby hospital where, according to a statement, she succumbed to her injuries. Officials believe that the toddler walked into the street and a 38-year-old man, wow, 30-year-old man, a 38-year-old man driving a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta hit her. They said alcohol and drugs do not appear to be a factor in the crash and did not specify if the driver will face any charges. Now, the driver's name wasn't publicly released by the MSP. An autopsy will be performed on a child. Jack Jackson Post Trooper said in the release, and the investigation is ongoing. Now, for those of you all who have small children, so I looked into this because it's not only small kids, it's autistic kids as well. Because, you know, even with my niece, she is uh, four years old. She's getting ready to be five. She likes to open the door. And she will go outside. So that's why I listen really, really close. And mind you, there's cameras all over the house. So I'll be able to, I, I got my phone right here. But, you know, when my mom and my aunt are not here, it's just her and I when I'm live. And you got to be very vigilant and mindful about children. They can walk out of the house very quickly. So I did this for you all. This is a home security door lock, child-proof door reinforcement lock for kids safety. And it withstands 800 pounds, metal door lock, security front child safety door latch, lock top high security door locks for interior lock. Now you can purchase this from Amazon. Listen, I did this for you all because people need to know what to purchase to prevent their child from exiting out of the home. And there's a part you see where the blue is. You hit those two buttons and I believe the latch open, but it's going to be pretty high up on your door. Um, my niece, and she doesn't have any children. She has this on her door for protection. Um, the cost is $15.29. That's not a lot when you think about your child's life. And even with the eight-year-old who um, exited the vehicle, exited the home this week and drove herself to Target, anything could have happened to her. Like she drove 30 minutes away from her home. And then this two-year-old left, walked out of the home, walked into the road and got hit. So you might want to take a look into purchasing something to make sure that your children are in. And I think I'm going to get something too, because Caden is six getting ready to be seven, but he be riding, a, he be driving a lawnmower and I be doggone, he get my keys and drive. Cause when I find him, I'm going to get him. Anyway, he said, uh, play passing out trick of moments. Oh Lord, child, what is that? All right. She said, oh no. She said it works. I have it. So my, so my sister has it as well, because when she's at her residence, she has my great niece, and like I said, she's autistic. And y'all know there have been several cases of autistic children who wander off. Matter of fact, there's a case in Henderson, Tennessee, with a little boy called Sebastian Rogers. I believe that's his name. Sebastian Rogers, 
who came up missing in, I believe, February or March of this year, and they have yet to find him. And I believe he was 14 or 15 years old. They've still yet to find him, and he's autistic. Autistic children do wonder. Anyway, great morning to you, Patricia. All right, moving right along. Y'all, we got a lot. There go that dog. There go a dog. Oh, my Lord. Y'all, hold on a minute. Let me yell through this camera. Hold on. <laughs> 